Hey guys, um, I want to quickly show you how uh, we can achieve a hairstyle like this as opposed to something like this. What you might be experiencing is when you're creating the hairstyle, you see an image like this and you're wondering why does my hairstyle look so bad? And that's because when you go to the hair settings, you have um, a setting called viewport display and under viewport, viewport display you have strand steps and by increasing the strand steps you can actually increase the quality of your hair each time you increase this you actually increase the number of points on the hair giving more resolution so the longer and the more curvy your hair is the more points you're going to need to make it look good at least five to make it look good maybe around eight uh, to make it look really um, smooth however the more points that you add uh, the greater the performance cost so you want to keep track of this now if you exported this as it was or as it is right now you're not going to get uh, the result in Unreal in fact that's exactly what I did I exported it into Unreal so that's what I did. I exported it on Unreal and this is the result. And the reason for this is because when you exported the uh, hairstyle into Unreal, what you also need to do is you need to change the render settings. Now the render settings, just like the viewport display settings, has an option called path. Unlike viewport, I don't know why these are two different um, settings, but for now that's what they've done. So here you have under path you have steps and the steps are set to three three is not enough for a hairstyle like this so let's set this all the way up to eight and then we can export so if you select this hairstyle file export alembic um, and then you need to scale it up by 100 set the frame to one or the first frame or whatever frame you want and make sure you select selected objects and visible objects and use settings for render now if you did use the settings for viewport then the uh, strand steps that you said earlier in the viewport display should work but I prefer to do it from the render at a higher quality than the viewport so I might even set this to 5 and set the render to 8 so that in Unreal it looks good so when you import it it will look more like this than like this okay uh, I hope this tip helps you and uh, catch you in the next one this tip is based on uh, a series of articles that I've written on my website and you can find it here at lunayeri.com slash blog and there are three um, sections or three parts of this article series uh, about how to create realistic hair grooms in Blender uh, for Unreal Engine 5. Um, you can see here that I've actually written quite a lot of content. There is a small book's worth of content here. It goes into a lot of detail on every single notch, dial, setting, slider um, that you need to create a hair groom in Blender. And in part two, uh, we go ahead and we actually create a couple of different hairstyles. Um, and I show you how I did that. And, how, and you can just follow along, in fact, and uh, create it yourself. And then in part three, uh, we, I show you how to get this into Unreal and. Um, how to render it correctly and how to uh, adjust the settings in Unreal itself as well. So check that out if you're interested.